Hi, thanks for joining us today. My name is Bill Martin with Motorsports down here in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to take a look at one of the newest members of the 11 R-Pod floor plans, and that is the brand new 190. Most of your R-Pods have what we call is a wet bath. In other words, your toilet and shower is such a small area that you can shower and potty at the same time. However, the 190 exuberates great seating space, good sleeping space, slide out, as well as a dry bath where your shower is separate and your toilet giving you more comfort and, and privacy too. Still, like all the rest of your R-Pods we bring in, we bring all of ours in from the Oregon plant, and that has the Hood River Edition. If you notice how off-road this sits, this have uh, torsion axles underneath, power powder coated steel frame and the big 15 inch tires. They still don't build it this way back east, but out here in the mountain country, we need to be able to get in and out of campsites, dips through the ground. Uh, also, some of our vehicles are sitting a little bit higher off the ground. A lot of Jeeps, uh, four-door Wranglers can pull this pretty easy. They have a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, uh, Chevy Colorado, Nissan Frontier. You may have a bigger tires and ground. This will ride nice and level with you. The other ability too about being under 3,500 pounds in weight is your Hyundai Santa Fe's, your Toyota Highlanders can see it. Then also being only six and a half feet wide, you've got really good field of vision going down the highway. So not only are you comfortable towing because you're well within a weight class, but you can see everything all around you and that gives you a real good confidence feeling too. But all the R-Pods are aluminum frame construction, they have a fiberglass exterior, as well as your roof is all one piece fiberglass. So it's not up there in rubber, it's not in several different pieces, but all one piece means you confidence, uh, peace of mind too, that it's not going to leak on you too. So our pods are very special. Besides being a smaller unit, it has all the names of a 30 foot unit. The R pod still has outdoor speakers. One of the nicest things the last two years is an awning comes out a full seven feet, give you a place for shade, uh, put your chairs out, even in a slight mist, you can be out here enjoying it, have your campfire going. Um, you've got jacks on all four corners for stabilization. There's no rocking and rolling in it. You've also, with the extra lift, you've got the two-tone steps, so it's easy to get in and out of an R-Pod, but you're incredibly well built. We'll kind of take a walk around the back. As we look at the tires here too, they are aluminum alloy wheels. 10 years from now, your wheels are gonna look like that and they're gonna rust. All the R-Pods are gonna come uh, solar prepped which means merely if you're out there for five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 days, merely plug in a portable solar panel into the outlet. It feeds up to your batteries up front. And you can sit there as long as you can. You always have battery power. And the battery power is important because number one, your jack up front is power. So on and off the truck, you push a button. Your slide out is power controlled, push a button in and out. The other thing is, even though your heat is provided by the propane, you must have battery power for the furnace to blow the force your air. As well as at maybe 9, 10 o'clock at night, you want to go in for the night and read whatnot, lights everything too. So as long as you have a solar panel, you'll always have battery power. Very important for camping. All the R-Pods come with, a, with the same matching spare tire, 15 inch. You'll also notice in R-Pod 2, this is a little receiver hitch back here. So should you choose to, you can actually take this off and actually make a bike rack you can install into that receiver too, so you can bring your two bikes with you. And that's the nice thing about an R-Pod. This is an off-road type unit. Uh, typically more people might tend to take their bikes with them, go down to Moab, whatnot, be able to ride their bikes too. So as we go around, on this side of the coach, Storage is very important. These are magnetic latch doors, so easy hand, no fumble. I've got all the way past your storage the other side, so I've got plenty of room for lawn chairs, uh, possibly a camp chef, Dutch ovens, outdoor cooking gear. All that stays here, it's not loaded back in my truck, and I can keep most of my stuff here, so I can call my wife or my buddy or whatnot and say, hey, let's leave tonight, and they go, let's go, we'll get everything to go. We merely stop at the, the local Smith's or Harmon's grocery store on the way out of town, and load up, and we're on our way. This is your slide out. This is what's giving you extra living space that we'll see inside. This is the Schwintech slide, been out for 15 years. Very reliable, very dependable. Also the double track ensures it pulls straight in and out. No torquing, no off roads Very reliable. Probably the one thing with the slide on something like this, uh, solar panel, you always got power, but bring an extra fuse with you. That's probably the major thing's ever gonna go wrong. All the R-Pods now too, no matter what size you take of the 11 floor plans, is going to have an outdoor shower. Here you have hot and cold running water. It's very nice for bedding off. Perhaps you bring your pet with you, uh, or you've just caught some fish, you want to clean your hands off. It's nice to wash out here versus inside too. <clears throat> so we're going to the R-Pod, your hot water tank, your fresh water tank. 
Uh, also your city water connector. So if you are at an RV park, you merely hook your water into here, good, you're good to go. If you're going dry camping, our pod does hold 36 gallons of fresh water and also your gray tank, which is your shower and your uh, sink water, that has a 30 gallon tank and your black tank is a separate 30 gallon tank too. So you can stay out there. You've got as much water capacity as a much larger unit too. As we go around the front of it here, once again, we're only six and a half feet wide going down the highway, and in correlation, your normal travel trailer is eight feet wide, so it's significant less. You do have room here for there will be dual batteries up here. You have one five gallon, 20 pound tank that'll last you probably a month, and then your power tongue jack on and off the unit with just merely a push a button, ease of comb. We're gonna go ahead and take a bounce around. One other thing is we, before we go inside, you have your black water flush. Some people call it Santa flush, but when it's time to leave camp, one of the nasty things we have to do is we kind of have to go to a dump station, dump things out. You merely put your hose on the other end of the unit, stick on the fresh water hose here, boom, boom, flushes out, high pressure spray, flushes your tank out, in minutes you're on your way home. We're gonna go ahead and take a step in. Also notice the outdoor grab handle and the two steps, easy in and out. This is what really, really makes the 190 special. As you walk in, you've got a nice U-shaped dining area. Uh, should it be just one, two, or another couple come with you or a couple friends, you can have your meal inside if the weather's bad. You can play cards in here. This also turns in another double bed so you can sleep two people here. You do have your full-size entertainment center. Uh, TV with DVD player, you can actually stream in here. If you so to watch TV in your bed, this actually turns around towards your bedroom too. So you do have the entertainment center capability. You've got really good storage place here for items. As you go into an R-Pod, pots and pans, silverware, dishes, nice recessed countertop versus a big stove top sitting up. If you do have a coffee pot, if you have other items with you, you've got plenty of storage back here to store the items on, and you've got outlets up here to run. Plenty of LED lights inside, and although we're indoors right now, very, very light. The R-Pods all come with a 3.7 cubic foot fridge. Not only is that more than adequate for probably a week's supply of groceries, but it does have a freezer in there for your, your hamburger, your steaks, etc. Uh, but milk, juices, veggies, etc. all in there. And this is a three-way fridge, and by that it works off propane, battery, or electricity. Uh, and with any RV, uh, run it off battery only probably while you're driving. Battery refrigerators, they hate each other. They just don't last long by themselves. But when you're driving, it's a really safe way to go. If you are planning to power somewhere, we have a small generator with you, a 2,000 watt generator on this. This is a microwave slash convection oven. So you can actually do some real baking stuff while you're out camping if you have the power to do that. Another nice thing about an R-Pod of this size too uh, is Storage has been a big thing in our pod, besides the drawers in the kitchen, I've got three full-size drawers here for uh, extra clothes, and I have a hanging closet here for coats, etc., whatnot whatnot, too. And then my personal, you know, nice setup, too, I really like the way that that U-shaped dinette's up front, and I like the way that the bedroom's up here. If I do have other people with me, the bedroom, even in a small unit such as this, we're talking unit that's about 17 feet long overall, and right about 20 feet 4 inches from the very tongue to the bumper. So it's not very big, but there's so much in here. This is what makes the 190 another special item too, is most just said your R-Pods are a dry bath. Here you'll notice there's a separate shower totally. And then you also have a sink and a wardrobe space and a medicine cabinet. Nice big bathroom for a, such a small unit too. All the R-Pods have got air conditioning. It's a 13,500 BTU air, the same size air as what you'll see in a 30-foot travel trailer. You can actually freeze yourself out in your burning hot day. But once again, uh, the R-Pod, since the very first one was made in 2008, they've just taken the country by storm. It's incredibly towable at the weight. It's incredibly maneuverable. Uh, it goes anywhere with you and provides all the amenities you need for your comfort and security. Uh, come down and take a look at it someday. We'd love to see you. Thanks again. Let motorsports land guide you to the dreams that live.